we're in a spot now that we have to get the reveal on Sin and find out what Sin's deal is. I don't think Nakaba can work around it after this point. I, I don't think that he could do it to like any any degree other than the only way that I could see it not getting revealed is if it's done in a way that it's like after this arc or after this mini arc rather I guess more to say and this boss battle they just ask him and he says something about it. I think it's gonna get revealed here because like the thing that's even that worse me even more is the whole fight aspect because clearly Percival's crew is, is is outmatched. Even with them all healed by Percival, they can't fight Fittage and his whole group healed. The only thing there's like the some aspects obviously that they hard counter, like the fact that Donnie Donnie could just like if if Donnie focused out uh Doranok, he could take him out no problem. And I don't think and I think that uh, what's her name? Bergie is Bergie's good as a support, but I don't think she's that. She's she's good as like an uh, like a support uh, as like an offensive character, somebody doing stuff in the back. She doesn't. She's not that dangerous, obviously. Like one v one, for I, I I would imagine anybody in the team that actually would be relevant. Like Donnie, I think would be fine at, at this point with his telekinesis being able to just grab her and throw her. Uh, we know how Annie is. Annie's only worried about the staff. And then, I think, Nasians and Percival both would just run through pretty quick. But, the only thing, obviously, is Fittage. Well, what's his name? El Elgin or whatever? The the really the the first guy, the weakest guy. He, despite being clearly not strong, he does have a... He does have a power that is useful here, still. The only one is Nasians that has a way to counter it, which is true. If he just kind of, like, imbued somebody else with that power or himself and just goes directly for him like they, they have ways around the, around beating the smaller members of the dark talismans but it's fittage being there that is clearly the big problem i mean he was able to pretty much just walk right past fighting donnie w with two rocks one rock just to see the range and uh into test the speed and then another one just to be like i'm gonna throw it so fast that i don't think i'll be able to get it smacks Donnie right in the face, and Donnie uh, is pretty much, from Finish's standpoint, easy prey, easy to defeat, not a problem whatsoever. And it's obvious to say that Annie is, Annie would be easy for him to defeat as well. I don't think that's really gonna be a problem. Whatever his power is, they don't, we don't know exactly, that when they call him Finch the Thunderclap, cool name by the way, the Thunderclap is a title that I think I've always enjoyed on characters despite their relevance. Like, th this guy is, this dude is ultimately, unless he's going to stick around after this arc, uh, ultimately going to be an early series uh, bad guy. He is not going to be like a character that is big in the long run. And on top of that, this is the Seven Deadly Sins world, so we know where he sits power level wise. Generally, we don't know exactly how strong he is, but we know that he's not that big of a deal when you look at the full scale of the characters within the series. But... This guy is still somebody who, you know, he's got a cool title. The Thunderclap can just be somebody, something that you just put on someone that is cool. There's a, what what was it in, in Fairy Tale? It was one of Rusty Rose's creations. You know, just some random monster he made. Was it Belcleese the Thunderclap? And I was like, you know what? That is a really cool name. Despite this is literally just a throwaway fodder monster. Cool name. But uh, the guy's armor is really cool too. I, I like the weird mask. But he, he clearly outclasses the main cast, the only one that's like a anyway potential out of like really the main ones besides I would assume Sin is Percival at like full power, you know, boosting up his abilities and, you know, using his hero type magic to its full extent. But I still don't think that he would be able to really win for sure against Fittage because so far Fittage hasn't done anything that seems like he's really trying. And... At the end of the chapter, when they, when they, like, he uses, like, the incantation or peels them all, but then Percival uses, like, his power heals them all, and that looks like they're gonna get ready to fight. There's, like, a moment in, fin in Finnish's head where he's thinking, and he's like, you know, uh, start with the head. And it's, it, you, it makes you think, oh, he, you know, he's gonna, he gonna go cut off somebody's head, 
but the way that he's using it instead is like the head of the group. Take down the leader first. And that's when he does like some hand signs, obviously like communicating with the members of his team, and they all around Sin. And that's when he like again he says like, Oh, you're the commander. So clearly he's he's saying the head of the group, not the head of the characters. And the clear thing when it comes to the level of power, I would assume they can see Sin's magic level or sense it and know that Sin is the strongest out of the group, or maybe it's it's just based off of Sin giving the orders and telling people what to do, and they're like, oh, well, that must be the leader in that case, which would make sense as well if that's why they're assuming Sin is the uh, the leader of this group. So that's actually going to be really interesting once, uh, once we find out who Sin is. Like, is Sin going to still have that commanding almost leadership, or is it just going to stay in that more of, commanding and battle helping until Annie has like more experience as a leader or is this kind of going to be the thing that knocks Annie off as the leader is he going to be the leader for a while for sure when is Percival going to step up as the main character as the leader he doesn't have to but it's just a question of like how things are going to go I actually kind of like the idea of him not being the leader even though he's the main character because ultimately the four nights of the apocalypse are going to be a group and I don't know if they're going to have a leader per se Maybe like a hierarchy, but not like a straight, you know, person in charge. Who knows how it's going to go, but the the Sin reveal is just a couple days away. Obviously, I'm getting to this pretty late. It's Friday. It came out on Tuesday, but we're, we're still a good half weeks, a uh, couple days away from finding out about Sin's identity. Like, Neil, I can see it being immediately uh, revealed in the next chapter or at the end of the next chapter, but I feel like it has to be the next chapter. It, like, what, what would they do for a full chapter to delay it again, unless it's going to go decide to do a chapter on Arthur? I don't think so. Because th this whole art, really, when you think about it, like the Dark Talismans, they're not a big... They're not, like, a big level of uh, bad guy group. These guys are powerful mini bosses pretty much because this is a short arc when you think of it, this isn't a 50 chapter arc it's not even a 25 chapter arc this is like a 10 chapter arc leading up to this this is a mini arc so like these guys are strong uh in in some areas but it's not like they're that much of a force there's only four of them and three out of the four of them were beaten with some difficulty but still not too much of a threat finish is a different story but I would assume that this whole, like, part of the story is going to get wrapped up in a couple chapters. So, I, I assume that it's going to, like, you know, the, the reveal is going to be now. Like, I don't know what else they're really going to do to really kind of prolong this or do anything to, like, bait and switch this reveal. I think it's going to be next chapter, whether it's at the start or at the end. We're going to find out who exactly Percival is. I think a lot of people believe it's going to be Lancelot. That's who I'm just going to put my uh, guess on. It could be a brand new character, but I feel like the most logical person is going to be Lancelot. So we'll just have to, you know, just wait a couple days and see how it goes. I, I am interested very much to see this development because this is a really cool mystery that's been in the series. And I really like when you have just small mysteries that don't have to be like giant story, like hanging plot threads. It can just be ones that's kind of like, hey, when are we going to find this out? What's the deal with this character? What's with this kind of thing about them? Well, this, you know, this mysterious question about them in this case, like, who is who is Sin? What's with this talking fox? What's the deal with this character? Uh, and, we, you know, we've gotten more alarming questions as things have gone by, like, you know, how powerful is Sin? Like, how does Sin know all this information? There's a lot of things about Sin that we just haven't gotten to yet that we need to wait for. So it looks like we're going to finally get to that in the next chapter. So I am hyped. I, I think this is going to be pretty exciting. It might be one of my most hyped chapters of the series, if not my most hyped chapter, because like finding out stuff about Percival's powers and seeing stuff about like, you know, getting new members of the main cast and certain characters like Donnie, Donnie's hype. I still really was happy for Donnie's, uh, Donnie's chapter, but I think this is the mystery that's been, this is like, this is like the first big plot reveal of the series, I think. And this is going to be really cool to see like how this goes down. But anyway, other than that, comment below, thumbs up the video, but friend like button, subscribe, and check out my other videos. But in that, appreciate everybody's always subscribed, and I thank you all for listening. Bye.